Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into inversion based super resolution, a powerful technique that lets you turn low resolution blurry images into stunning high resolution masterpieces. Whether it's an old family photo or an image you need to work for. This method can bring it back to life with incredible details. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the science behind it. So inversion based super resolution or we can call it as InSR is a cutting edge approach developed by researchers at Nanyang Technological University. Unlike traditional methods, Inversion SR uses diffusion models, the same technology behind some of the most advanced AI image generators today. So, how it works? Diffusion models start by adding noise like a layer of fog to an image and then teach the AI how to reverse that process, removing the noise to reveal a clear high resolution image. But traditional diffusion models can take a lot of steps to get good results. And that's where this inversion based super resolution comes in. So it uses a partial noise prediction strategy. Instead of starting from pure noise, it begins with a partially noisy version of your low resolution image. This means it can generate high quality results in just a few steps. Sometimes even one step. The results are sharp, detailed and truly impressive. So the real question arises, how to get started with Comfy UI and inversion based super resolution. For that, first you have to go to your manager, custom nodes manager and search for INVSR. Here you will get an option of install. Install it and then close this window. And one more thing, you have to restart your Comfy UI. Once done, you can download the workflow from comfyuiblog.com from here. Once downloaded, go open it in your Comfy UI and load the workflow. Here, the best part is the necessary models will download automatically. The diffusion model Stability SD Turbo will download to Comfy UIs models diffusion folder automatically and the inversion based super resolution model noise predictor SD Turbo V5 will download to Comfy UI's models inversion SR folder. So let's talk about the inversion SR sampler settings. So here first is num steps the number of inference steps more steps mean higher quality, but take longer. You can increase it to 1 to 2, 1 to 5 for more quality. Next is CFG. Here I am keeping it as 5. It classifies free guidance scale. This controls how closely the output follows the input. Next is batch size. So I'm gonna keep it as 1. It controls how many complete images are processed simultaneously. Right. If you have a powerful GPU with plenty of VRAM, for example, 24 GB or more, you can increase the batch size to process multiple images at once. For example, set it to 4 or 8 for faster processing. If your GPU has limited memory, like 8 GB or less, Keep the batch size to 1 to avoid running out of memory. Next is chopping batch size. So what exactly it does? It controls how many patches from the same image are processed simultaneously. So you can set it to 8. So next is chopping size. So I'll keep it as 128. And what it exactly it does, it controls the size of patches when splitting large images. Uh, for the best settings, you for most upscaling tasks, like example, for 1K to 4K, set this to 256. 
This is the optimal patch size for balancing detail and performance. If you are working with extremely large images and like 8K or higher, you can increase this to 512, but only if your GPU can handle it. Next is color fix. So try it as a wavelet for more aggressive color correction. So here I am going to share some tips on how to upscale and enhance a very low resolution image using inversion based super resolution. So I recently worked on an image that was only 10 KB in size with a resolution of 165 by 220 pixels. The goal was to remove the blur and make it as clear as possible. So let me walk you through the process and the lessons I learned along the way. So here is what I tried and what worked best for me. In the first attempt, I upscaled it to 8K and I set the chopping size to 512, which is great for high resolution upscaling. So let's try with results. So finally, the result actually not good. The image looked overly smoothed and the details were lost. So in the second attempt, I tried it with 4K and I reduced the chopping size to 256, which is a common setting for upscaling. So let's try the results. So here you can see the result was better, but the image still lacked this sharpness and the blur wasn't fully removed. So I tried it with another attempt and upscaled it to 2K and I further reduced the chopping size to 128. And finally, finally this worked. The blur was significantly reduced and the details in the image became much clearer. So here is what I did for this and for enhancing more, you can increase num steps to 5. Let's look at the results. You can see it has become more clear and the sh sharpness is there. Actually why did this work? So for very low resolution images using a smaller chopping size like 128 allows the AI to focus on smaller patches of the image. This helps it co recover more details and reduce blur effectively. Upscaling directly to a very high resolution like 8K, it doesn't work well because the AI has to guess too much information, which often leads to poor results, as you saw in the results earlier. So moving forward, I have experimented with Flux model also and prepared a quick example for all of you. And here is the prompt I used. It's a bit lengthy. So you can see I have mentioned extreme close up, amazing quality, masterpiece, etc, etc. So let's let's look at the results. So here is the result. The flux model generated a beautiful image of the warrior. But after processing it with inversion based super resolution, the details got even better. Look at the armor and the skin so much sharper and more realistic. So moving on, there are new features I have added to this workflow. These updates make it even easier to use Flux and Inversion S for upscaling images. Now you can enable or disable these features with just a click. So let me walk you through how it works. So first, if you only want to upscale an image without using flux, set the boolean switch to false and load the image you want to upscale. So here is the one I have uploaded. And the workflow will skip the flux processing. Then if you don't want to use wave speed for faster processing or to save GPU resources, set the boolean switch to false. This will bypass the wave speed node and process the image without it. Next, I tried something different and used a prompt to generate a crucial landscape scene. And here is what happened. So this is the result. The original image was nice, but the grass 
trees, mountains, water looked a bit rough. After using inversion SR, all became smooth and natural. Even the buildings in the image, who looked a bit odd in the original, improved significantly. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Moving on, uh, the actual question arises, what does this mean for the future? So, with inversion SR and Comfy UI, the possibilities are endless. From restoring historical photos to enhancing satellite imagery, this technology is set to change how we interact with images. And guess what? This is just the beginning. As AI continues to evolve, who knows what other incredible tools we'll have in the future. So if you are excited to give Inversion SR and ComfyUI a shot, check out the links in the description for the GitHub repository and installation guide. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI breakthroughs. See you. Bye-bye.